Now I've done quite a few videos on prostate health, but there's something really interesting which I'm gonna share with you in this video. Okay, now over the past few weeks, I've done an in-depth research, I've carried out several literature reviews, several analyses, and found out one important natural ingredient that almost all men with an enlarged prostate are actually deficient in, and it's not even zinc. And if you go online and you search some of the best nutrients to shrink an enlarged prostate, you are actually not going to find this one important natural ingredient in any of these leaves. All right, now if you have an enlarged prostate and then you go to your doctor, what they will actually do is to give you some medication that is not going to address this problem of an enlarged prostate. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about this one natural ingredient that can support your prostate health, your prostate function, and potentially help you to shrink a large prostate, all right? Now, first of all, what is prostate? Now, the prostate is actually a gland. It's a walnut-shaped gland that sits underneath the bladder with part of your urethra surrounding it. Now, the urethra is just like a tube that carries urine out of the penis. Now, majority of men with an enlarged prostate have their urethra skewed. They have their urethra choked up in such a way that it becomes more difficult for urine to pass through it. They are going to be experiencing those symptoms, painful urination. They have urgency, waking up several times to pee. They have dribbling of urine. They have problems stopping or starting their stream. And sometimes, even after using the bathroom, they have this urge of always want to go to the bathroom. And sometimes they have leakage of urine even before getting to the restroom, which sometimes can affect their quality of life. All right. Now, research has actually shown that 80% of all men, when they reach the age of 70, are going to develop an enlarged prostate. And if you look at the root cause of this problem, most of the time, it's actually due to increased production of certain hormone. And this hormone is called dihydrotestosterone. It's the potent form of androgen, all right? So as most men start aging, there's going to be an increased expression of this one enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. Now what this enzyme does is that it's going to take your testosterone and convert it into dihydrotestosterone, which is a potent form of androgen. Now when this dihydrotestosterone binds to its androgen receptors in your prostate, it's going to trigger the proliferation of the epithelial cells and the smooth muscle cells of the prostate that gradually result in the enlargement of the prostate gland. You are going to have an enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. So all this medication you hear about, all these pharmaceutical drugs, like alpha blocker, now the function of this medication is actually to block the activity of this enzyme. Now this actually makes a lot of sense because if you can inhibit this enzyme, 5 alpha reductase, which powers the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, which results in prostate enlargement, that can help to reduce the growth of the prostate, that can help shrink an enlarged prostate. Now, there are other remedies that support the prostate, which we are going to get into after, but there's this one natural nutrient that does wonderful things for the prostate. It's, the, it's a fast-soluble vitamin, and that is vitamin D, okay? Vitamin D is very, very important for your prostate. It can help shrink your enlarged prostate. Now, there's something called chronic pelvic pain syndrome, with this with pain around your lower pelvic muscle, the area around your prostate is going to make your prostate to look inflamed. It's going to make you to have an enlarged prostate and it is not even caused by bacterial infection. Sometimes it could be due to muscle imbalance if you are obese, all right? Now certain exercises like cycling can also put pressure on your pelvic floor making you to have an enlarged prostate and then if you go to your doctor they will be giving you antibiotics to help you get rid of it but that is not going to solve this problem because it is not caused by bacterial infection so even if you are taking antibiotics that is not going to help you solve this problem because it is not caused by bacterial infection now let's look at some of the studies on vitamin d and an enlarged prostate benign prostatic hyperplasia now, in the first study, intake of vitamin D, 6,000 international unit of vitamin D, actually decreased prostate volume in individuals with benign prostatic hyperplasia, in individuals with an enlarged prostate, all right? So in the second study, it's a preclinical trial study. What they found out was that vitamin D did not just decrease BPH cells and then cell growth, it also decreased those hormones that are responsible for benign prostatic hyperplasia, and that is, insulin-like growth factor 1 and then dihydrotestosterone 
and this is very good because if you are taking vitamin D, if you can suppress the production of those hormones that are responsible for the growth of your prostate, that is going to help prevent an enlarged prostate, that is going to help shrink an enlarged prostate. So there's actually a huge correlation, there's a huge association between vitamin D intake and then benign prostatic hyperplasia. So if you've not been taking vitamin D before now, I will actually encourage you to start taking it. And what's interesting is that in any of this study, no negative side effect was actually reported, which means that vitamin D is very, very important for the prostate. Now, the other nutrient which you can take to support your prostate health. All right, now, number one is uh, by taking zinc. Zinc is very, very good for your prostate. It can help shrink your enlarged prostate because it has an anti-androgenic effect. And number two is by taking lycopene. Okay, now you can get lycopene from tomatoes. Tomatoes is actually a great source of lycopene. And the last thing is by taking pumpkin seeds. Okay, pumpkin seeds is very, very good for your prostate. That's why it's a great source of zinc, which can help shrink your enlarged prostate. I've actually made a video on how to use zinc to support your prostate health. I'm going to put the link of this video in the description below. Make sure to check it out, okay? Thanks for watching.